I'm Nancy Friendsley. I'm the training manager at the Berkeley East Bay Humane Society here in Berkeley, California. And we're going to talk about caring for your Pembroke Welsh Corgi. The first thing I'd like to know is if you know the difference between a Pembroke Welsh Corgi and a Cardigan Corgi. Corgi. If you don't, the Cardigan Corgi has a tail. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi has no tail. And while you see a color variation in the cardigan cor corgis, the Pembroke Welsh corgis are generally a fawn color with white markings. They have a lush coat that's short, but a nice undercoat, and they are a very, very good herding dog. They're still being bred to work stock, and they have a really outgoing, confident, and uh, rather bossy personality in many ways. Um, the Pembroke Corgi can be very demanding in terms of being barky. So you're going to have to put some boundaries on the barking. You're going to have to give them good obedience and give them things to do. They can do a lot of different kinds of activities, whether it's agility, obedience training, tricks, and they enjoy and love working for you. Again, in terms of herding, they're what you call a biddable dog. They're there to try to figure out what you want. So this is a dog that's going to bond closely with you and is going to test you as much as you test him.